Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we're going to skip the mission that we talked about before. It does have the green check mark. I was able to do it when I first got the game before I started recording. And uh, the episode I recorded earlier failed on every account. It crashed the desktop every time, and I know this mission has been difficult for others. So I got lucky and got through it. I haven't been able to record it, so we're skipping it. Moving on to Torpedo the Dreadnought. Approach and destroy a heavy dreadnought using torpedoes, and try to destroy it with a destroyer flotilla. Or, uh, more advanced destroyers, or really basic torpedo boats. Enemy will be going 21 knots, 10 inches of max armor, not counting for whatever the effectiveness is. We'll get 7 million to do it. There, and we get 25 million to build a dreadnought. If we can sink it with 7 million, that'd be amazing. Oh, wow. This is a much different set of bonuses than before. They're named the same, but they're different amounts. We just go by the torpedo range. I think that gives us an indication. So I'm gonna go with the balanced tech to start out. Could do the torpedo boat. In fact, I think I'll try that. Do 500 tons. And Dreadnought uses all big guns. Let's start, try to the destroy. We'll put on our front tower. We'll maximize bulkheads. In the hopes we'll get one shot that we can stoke. Drop armor, we're not going to worry about the rest of those. Yeah, we're not even going to worry about the bulkhead. Lose the armor altogether. We'll do the coincidence rangefinder. Don't need the radio. I mean, it'd be useful, but it's not going to do better turrets. The 20 inch torpedoes will be good. My powder with extra torpedoes. And yeah, maybe not. We don't have much for armaments if we want to have more than three. Standard shells. We'll leave it here. Throw on a couple funnels. Because we're induced, not forced boiler. No barbettes. We'll stick a 5 inch front, 5 inch on the back. We'll focus on torpedoes. Get four rounds off. There's one launcher. There's another launcher. There's a third launcher. I'm going to do four quad. There's our optimum offset. We keep our speed, we keep our bulkheads. We're at 99% weight. We'll only have two destroyers. I feel this is a risky strategy, but we're going to go with it. So, nothing else that I see. Yeah, that gets us one less. So yeah, we'll launch with that. Two destroyers, one battleship. Go. I 
in my failed recording, I don't think this is what is causing the crash. Well, it may be causing slowdown. Seems to be doing just fine otherwise. There they are. Let's turn off our torpedoes. We have a decent malice or aim. Good for us. Five kilometers. That was reasonably close. Looks like she's maneuvering some. Getting worried about getting this close. There's the secondaries. But she has sevens and threes. Sort of have a, a penetration. Let's get our torpedoes ready to go. Being cautious. Will they launch? Oh, there we go with a hit. So let's get to normal. Let's see if the our rear door will launch. Pretty sure the forward one will launch right away. Okay, go ahead, detach. Not turning that way. Drop your smoke. Ah, I flubbed this up entirely. Yeah, this is a fail. And we'll we'll keep this one going and see if we can get it working. We can get a launch. Maybe something will happen. Come on, launch. Within six thousand yards. Kilometer range. If our destroyer lasts long enough, we'll get to have an indication of what this might mission might look like. It's actually a fair amount of damage. Good spread. Well, let's go back. Try to shrink things down. Get rid of that torpedo launcher. Get rid of one of them. Keep our engine efficiency. Maybe we can eke out a little bit. Like, I don't think we're going to damage the dreadnought with our five inch guns. I've been surprised before. But let's go ahead and get rid of them. We'll save a little bit of weight. And we can go with steam turbines, which give us three stores at 24 and a half knots. And it's kind of slow. Only six knots. Won't do anything. We can go with light, we can go with reduced, standard ammo, white explosives, electric. 
can go... This is about gun aiming. Lose it. I don't need it. Double the price, half the weight. Or, uh, slightly less weight. Go for the enhanced funnel. Not sure how much more we can eek out. And if we lose the bulkheads, then they can't take any heads. But we could potentially throw that at the speed and have 27 and a half. My sacrifice down to 26 and do full. Let's do that. Separate them out. We'll try to get in close. Match, match. Let's go with full AI. See how our 800 ton destroyers do. Closing in slowly. We'll go ahead and take control now. Get in directly. I don't want to do that. Another link. trying to refigure themselves. We're under three kilometers. Get broadside, see if they'll launch. Okay, they did launch torpedoes. Smoke going. This one has launched torpedoes. That does not look like eight torpedoes. You know what? I got the solution for you. Oh, that's brutal. to hit them. This has been brutally ineffective so far. And we get one, two, three. No flotation damage whatsoever. I don't think this is going anywhere very quickly. And I'm going to shift down to the torpedo boat. Go for the minimum size. Minimum bulkheads. Try for the 28 knot speed. Turbines, we don't get coal. We want the 20 inch torpedoes, thank you. Electric. Actually, pretty fast. Keto spotting we don't care about. We just want something real basic. 
throw in the standard funnel. Half of what we need. Throw our two inch up forward. Actually, let's stick a torpedo launcher up there. That answer is no. And put a th three tube launcher on. Oh, never mind. Aft offset is way too high. Might just have to sacrifice the funnel then. We'll have our three tube launcher. Be a bit shy on venting for the torpedo, uh, the boilers. I go down to. What does it take? 25 knots, I can get 10 torpedo boats. Minimum sized, horribly offset weight. Launching three torpedoes each. Let's see how this one works out. First we go detach one, detach one, detach one, one, and we'll go automatic, detach one, Rowan, detach one, Arataria, detach one, we have Adela and Azalea, detach one, and all of these, we have all of them on default settings, just fine for me. Now let's see how this works out. An absolute veritable swarm. Had mixed results having the AI do everything. There we go, there's our first shot from. Who is this? British like before, Danton? Might be a British name. The flag, it's French. Oh, there it goes. First one. Not sure if she got her torpedoes off. See some torpedoes in the water. Looks like a clean miss. There's a second launch I see right there. Gonna be a clean mess because she maneuvered starboard. She won't maneuver enough to make those a threat. Okay, here we go. We went with fast, not electric. I might have to get involved and get all these people moved in. Nice and close, then. Yeah, because she's maneuvering too much. If I'm gonna have the AI do everything, I need electrics. The AI is too standoff. All right, Adela has not launched yet. We are at one kilometer. Our Vendela has launched. We're no longer effective. Get the curlew going. There's our launch. He's already maneuvering. The 
Zayla has launched. And get rid of the Curlew. Maneuver into a Void. Yeah, we, we need the electrics on this one. Slower, but... They're more likely to hit. Especially at any sort of range. AI on. AI on. Hatch. 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 And. Attach. Attach. I have AI on on all of them. All right, five times speed and see how it goes. Might switch back to the single very capable destroyers that can take a hit or two. See if I can't get really close like I did with the first round. All right, they've opened fire. have a launch from our lead. They have maneuvered, so that probably won't work out well. Our second has launched, so is the other lead. There's that first launch. The next two, I think. We might get one hit with this one that's really leading, but it's falling behind quickly, so I don't think so. Mm, nope. They launched. No. Alright. Let's set you guys to aggressive. I think that makes them less accurate, but just need to get a torpedo into her to get her to slow down. Actually, she's making quick work of all her torpedo destroyers, or uh, torpedo boats. There we go. Got one torpedo hit. That's abysmal. Oh, that's not good. Something went wrong. As noted, the game is alpha. with that one as well. Gone horribly wrong. We'll go ahead and call it here even though we're in a steady launching state. We'll move back to the destroyers. We use large, highly capable ones. I don't think I'll use a rear turret. Let's go with... Two kind of makes sense. These will reload faster. I'm gonna use those ones. We want turbines. Like we want cast turbines. Reduced. 
prop. 20 inch please. Electric propulsion. Lidite. Oh yeah, we need a funnel. Hey, look, it barely fits. Six launchers, this is 12 torpedoes per launch. Seven will have 14 torpedoes per launch. Oh, we have no bulkheads. Huh. How about that? We can afford all of them. And 29 and a half knots. That's actually not bad at all. Almost want to subtract one of these, add another funnel. But let's see how she handles. Any armor. And we do 30. How about that? 30 knots. And we're looking at minus 25%. There we go. Go off, head them off fast. Like we have five dual turrets for the primary, two triples for the secondary. There goes the torpedoes. Get some smoke out. Get Parker to turn in with her and see if we can get her to launch her torpedoes. The double tap would be amazing right now. Go ahead and get those out. Come on, you can do it. Launch. Move the Stevens out. Well, now I kind of want to wait. See how these torpedoes strike the Gascony. Torpedoes off, We're fading back, they've shifted targets. Not as many torpedoes as I would like to hit. Might not even get the one. Must have maneuvered somewhere in the middle there. Now she's maneuvering more, we're just gonna throw off the second salvo. And we're back in some. Looks like we'll probably hit with at least one of these ones. Looks like she's seen the torpedoes. I'm gonna take two. One, two, possibly three. Yep, three. Excellent. 
almost have the Stevens torpedoes reloaded. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, it's only damage to the torpedo launcher. We'll turn the Stevens away. them to start saving their torpedoes while the Parker finishes her run. And I think the Gascony is still slowing down until most of these are going to miss. Still hit with some. Their steering is messed up, which is also good. There's two more. Got full engine damage now. Parker has launched. We're sending her out. And we'll set her torpedoes to save as well. Feeling some of these will miss as the gas getting slows down, but... I'm gonna hit with a number of them. Oh, direct hit. If the Stevens turned around and coming back, Eskimi takes one more torpedo. I'm flooding. smoke here shortly as we pass the Parker. Give her a screen. What's the range on our torpedoes? Got already. Six kilometers. Well within, we'll send for aggressive and the Parker will launch from long range. Evans is going to make a close in run. Nervous about how close they are. We lost one of our torpedo launchers. Oh, you want such an oblique angle, really? What are you smoking? There's the rest of the torpedoes. Probably there might be a couple more coming out. The worst angle to fire at them. Still managed to get three more torpedoes. Lit the Gascony on fire. Like the Parker launch from very long range. We'll accelerate time to times ten. And we'll hope for the best. Okay, we can see the spread now. Gascony is turning away though. Getting our next torpedo launch set up. Clean this. Another set of torpedoes out. See it there. Chances are if she hasn't turned shortly, she's gonna take at least one. That's dangerous. There's our last one, and let's get out of dodge. Oh, looks like, yeah, we'll get one more. No flooding. Still. The last salvo. Probably. Get the smoke out again. We're just trying to survive long enough to see if this last torpedo will do anything. If it hits at all, which it looks like not.
Yeah, that's a miss. Choices, choice A. If we put in a second enhanced funnel, we reduce the size of the destroyer. We throw on a maximum size torpedo launcher at three. Drop down the turbines. Inch torpedoes. Thirty five seventy. I'm looking at the efficiencies of scale. The three torpedo doesn't look like this is actually one of the most efficient ways to do it. It's just this dual launcher. That gives us three destroyers, or I can put more torpedoes on it. I would like to four or three destroyers. There we go. Our forward offset done. Tweak the torpedoes and we have a good favorable offset for that. Can't make it any faster with this though. If I drop one of the launchers. I guess up to 33 knots. Gas turbines will be too expensive. 33 knots, 3 destroyers, 6 torpedoes, close range is the goal. Alright. Don't mind if they launch at long range as we're approaching. Reload does take a little while. Conditions are not favorable to a torpedo run. Alright, we're at three kilometers. Let's get this smoke going. Almost two kilometers. We'll get broadside. All right, the Whipple can detach. Whipple will go this way. Elliot and the Stevens, they should be lining up for their torpedo runs as well. Stevens next. Especially since the Dreadnought is just shifting to the Stevens, so I want the Stevens to launch now. Get the Whipple angle in a little bit more. Stevens has launched. 
while the Dreadnought is focused on them. Let them gain a little bit of distance. Hopefully the Elliot can get a clean shot as they close. Meanwhile, the, Steve, the Whipple's getting in for a shot. Steven's angling in. Might get as many as three torpedoes in. Nah, she's maneuvering. Actually have pretty decent torpedo spotting at this level. We get one. Uh, it looks like a 5 inch hit. It's some damage to the superstructure. Whipple's about to launch again. The Elliot has yet to launch. There goes the Elliot. Grab the Stevens. Alright, there's a cross torpedo launch. That should go favorably. Yeah, good number of hits there. Whole bunch more there. Not as many as it could be. No flooding, still. See if we can keep the Stevens alive long enough. Track the Dreadnought with Whipple. Bring the Stevens around the other side. Let's save those torpedoes. Target, she is not. Coming up rapidly on the starboard side. And here we go. Like aggressive, just launch. And there we go. Now let's get the Whipple coming back in. There's some flooding. Fire two, but still a lot of structural left. Turn off the torpedoes. Get the smoke going. Hard turn, which will slow us down, put us in a good angle for launching again. Aggressive. Let's let's get a second launch. As soon as the Stevens gets out of the way. Stevens. Got our launch though. Stevens broadside. And there's six more torpedoes.
Not really any flotation damage. It really seems silly. She's heavily damaged below the water line. And just a little bit of water in a few compartments. Oh, there's the beginning of the end for Whipple. Our smoke going. That's a little bit of time. We've got engine damage now, though. Evans is about to launch. Shifting sides, which will sh force the rear turrets to traverse. Evans has launched. We now turn the Whipple in. Not too concerned if she makes it or not. Three, four, five more torpedoes. A little bit of flooding. And flippy Yui. All right. Oh, they managed to tag us with one of those. Could be very bad. Time for one last launch. There we go. Turn away and hope for the best. Oop, not so much. Six torpedoes hit. Additional flooding, but to what avail? Yep, they canceled it out. Damage control is just overly effective. I don't see that fire spreading any. So let's exit to the main menu. Torpedo size one, one, two. Bounce tech has the best. Not to mention it gives us the extra engine technology. Take a look at optimized torpedo propulsion. It says it has increased size, but only 19s. It can be very long ranged. How effective would that be? I'm really thinking the balance tech is really the best option. We got a lot of torpedoes into the, the Dreadnought, though. And for what gain? Get our front tower. Two advanced funnels. We want our single 5-inch gun. Who knows? We might start a fire. And it 
it certainly hasn't been burning since the world has been turning. Because we started it. And our 20 inch torpedoes are electric. Load time is minus 25%. I do enhance. Does that help at all? No. I'll make them smaller. Not help at all. But you can see that live changes the damage. 2400. 3800. Hmm. Preo size doesn't seem to make that much of a difference then. Get rid of that. How fast can we make it with three launchers? Thirty three. What we ended up with before. So I just retry with the three destroyers again. I think yes, we'll give it one more go and then we're going to have to call it the end of the episode, regardless of whether we get through this or not. she is. Does it look like we have? But kind of small primary armaments. smoke out take a look at our adversary Frederick der Grosse with a bunch of 11 inch guns sixes and threes and even her own torpedoes Ray, I see one there oh no don't detach detach Get your torpedoes. Go. There we go. We'll get these two detached as well. Turned in. For the next launch. Okay, go to aggressive. Get the torpedoes out. Oh, we got all of the engines. Second salvo. First, we're sinking. Oh, this looks bad. This is a dreadnought designed to take out destroyers. That's some flooding in there.
And no smoke. Just enough time to see whether the leads ones hit. Looks like three. One, two, three, four. So well, that was fast. Yes, we'll retry. I just don't think we can get a torpedo boat to go this fast. I'm gonna do single launchers. go. We can launch five instead of six at a time and reload them in half the time. And go one knot faster. There they are. Looks like we have larger guns. A very inefficient layout. We're lucky that means she has less secondaries. Conditions are favorable. Bad for accuracy. We are now within four kilometers. There's our first launch. I'll leave alone. Yeah, it looks like 13 inch and three inch and that's it. Maximum bulkheads though, so that's going to be tough. A couple torpedo heads. Set them to auto. Kind of disappointed in how they're aiming. Like, where's this guy going? There's another launch. Have a launch from this one right here. Two torpedoes. Half portion, no appreciable effect. More torpedoes. Forward section. All right, 
right, we're close enough. Get our torpedoes launched. Launch. This looks like another wash. There's a better launch. That's three or four. Still no appreciable damage. And we'll shortly lose the mission. Yeah, we can't achieve the speed without the pony system propulsion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I have just enough time for one quick go. And four kilometers. There's our launch. Catch this guy, he's no good anymore. Without the electrics to prevent them from dodging, they just take hits too easily. So yeah, I'm going to call it at this episode, or this, the end of the episode. It's unfortunate we were unable to get through that. Uh, I might skip some of the failed chances now that you've seen what this mission looks like, and just get the success recorded at some point and move, clip that in um, for the next episode, not this one. I uh, it's it's a rough mission much like the previous one which is take on a a battleship 
with torpedo boats. It, it's not easy. Some of that may be the the lack of optimization. It's very early alpha build. And the devs have already said that they're giving the first patch a good pass on torpedoes and defensive systems and rebalancing those to be less one-sided as the defensive system seemed pretty gosh darn effective so far. But that takes us to the end of this episode where I am out of time. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you staying till the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I will see you next time. Take care.